Last time on This Isn't Normal. Yeah, the, the cultists are dead. All of them? Just two of them. There's like one or two more somewhere. <laughs> the commissioner bends mm. down and uh, Dandy, you watch as he drops like a handful of little objects into the uh, the light snow. Um, and as you pick one up, you, you see it's like a miniature radio. Uh, so are we still evacuating everything? Yeah, we, yes. need to, yeah, we need to get the heck out of here. We're gonna blow up the core. Yeah, no, I no, I, I got that. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? You have a plan? I look at Meg a little bit like uh, cringing. I give us some like, what about the blanket? Hey, the blanket? No. I don't know the circumstances regarding Papillon. I do. If he's <laughs> half of him's in the mountain. And the whole world gets benumbed. What happens to him? Hypothetically, half of him would be turned into nothingness, and I would guarantee you there'd be some sticky, bloody bug parts down in hell. Are you guys down down from the ravine? What what's going on? I I sort of thought you know something would have happened by now. Uh yeah, there was a bit of a problem with getting Arthur, but like I think everything's good now. We're just you know coming to check things out, make sure everything's good down here. Didn't you come from down here? No, we came from where Asa and Aiden were. That path goes down into the ravine. When the night is calm and peaceful, loving hearts are all in tune. There's two lonesome people in the whole wide world, that's me and the man in the moon. When the little birds are nesty And I listen to them too There's two lonesome people in the whole wide world So you all head back down uh, the way you came, go back through the ravine. Does anyone have a light or something? Because it's pretty dark down here. Um, I might have something. Uh, mm, Danny, don't you have that bowl. match? <laughs> I do have matches. Have you also have the magic match. Yeah, remember? that's what I was referring oh, to. Oh, yeah. All right, I have a magic match that lights on fire. Let lights fire that doesn't actually burn things. So, are there like sticks around? Lay my hand you can on use, fire. Yeah, you could just use your hand. All right, I light my hand fire. on fire. Okay, Dandy, your hand is now burning, and you uh you extend it like a torch. Well, burning, in a. I want to like stick my middle finger out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's pretty hardcore. Uh, <laughs> nice. Burning bird. <laughs> Yeah, even though, like, obviously you're not in any pain, it definitely looks pretty badass. <laughs> um, and a bird extended. I don't know, does anyone else want to use it to, to further light the way? I'll use it. Can someone light Meg on fire? Uh, I'll take some okay. light. I'll take some sure. fire on Every, my hand. Everyone's hand okay. on fire. Captain Punch, do you want to have your hand lit on fire? Captain Punch looks uh, skeptical. <laughs> Fair. Uh, Meg, did you say you wanted to just be lit? On fire, like fully. Yeah, I want to be <laughs> fucking lit. All right, I light Meg on fire. <laughs> okay, uh, so so Dandy, you drag the uh, the match like all around, um, and Meg, you are probably delighted okay. as your entire body Except is engulfed. Except for his hands, as he candles the blanket. Oh yeah, well the blanket it wouldn't matter. Yeah, because well, it can't burn. It wouldn't catch... burn. I know, but we yeah. still don't really want the whole blanket to be on fire. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to see the whole uh, thing light up. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like, like that would just attract a lot more attention than we want. Yeah, it would that, attract that would a lot be like, hey. Actually, yeah, hold on. Can I redact that? <laughs> well, you redacting light lit on well, fire? Well, specific. I specifically said I light all of him on fire except his hands. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm lit. Okay, yeah, you're lit. <laughs> well, your hands aren't on fire. You can just, like, pat yourself out. That's true. Um, oh yeah, stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> do you stop, drop, and roll? How, how I about, do. All right, then I light his hair on fire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still pretty cool. It is pretty noticeable, and as you guys continue down through the ravine, you see the bridge overhead, and you hear, Hey, is everything good? Yep, we're good. Are you on fire? Magic! Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> Rock on! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm not talking to this man anymore. Uh, okay, yeah, you you continue on as you hear like some whoops, uh, and and uh, excited yelps. Oh, uh, I thought he like set himself on fire. No. <laughs> <laughs> he fell off the bridge. Um, <laughs> oh, I thought that too. I thought he just was like whoops. <laughs> nah, he, he's not that excited. Um, and yeah. you guys, guys continue what? We're supposed to be going to the court. We're finding Marlena. 
Like, we're heading towards Marlena. Mm -hmm. Why didn't we ask where the fucking core was? Like, we don't know for certain she's even at the core. Yeah. I mean, she could be guarding it, but she could also just be, like, wherever the demon is. Because the demon's in here somewhere, and she could just be, like, talking him through it. Do one of you guys feel like yelling back at a uh, old Tango Shpanko? <laughs> well, I don't, where the core I'm is. just worried that if he, like, gets suspicious of us, he'll, like, alert other That's people. That's true. So. Yeah. Our choice is either to, like, continue on this direction or, um... We can either all, we're going the r entire wrong way. We could we don't know find the bridge. Merlina and we could get the answer of where the core is out of her. Yeah, yeah beat her up until she tells us. Yeah. All right. Or just ask. <laughs> <laughs> Wild well, she thought, knows, I know. Here's she a hot doesn't take. know. Let's not beat her up. She doesn't know Harvey. She's a, she knows Harvey betrayed us, but she doesn't know that Harvey betrayed them. Yes, that's true. Yeah, so she could she could think that like Harvey's still fooling us. Harvey, are you a good liar? I would like to think I'm a good liar when I no, try to check be. Check your fast talk, Harvey. <laughs> Harvey, Harvey. What? Harvey, what's your fast talk? What's your fast talk? Mm, give my eyes a second. Uh, twenty-five. Okay, well maybe I should just lie because I have a fifty-five. What's, yeah, I was to say I think yours is Aren't higher than mine. Aren't you also, like, a master of disguise? Oh, yeah. I am a literal master of disguise. Hey, my charm I is have a 65, so if we need anything charmed. Okay. <laughs> I'm super sneaky. I could sneak up and right, steal the information from her. What should I disguise myself as? You don't have a lot on you or available to you in this cave, unless you wanted to be a miner. Yeah! <laughs> Okay. Go ahead and Wait, roll disguise. No, what? <laughs> I mean, don't you think it'd be more appropriate if you were just tagging along with Harvey instead of a random civilian? Yeah, but they know that we betrayed them. They don't know, or she doesn't know that Harvey betrayed them. She knows that we, the rest of us, betrayed them. And so if all of us and Harvey are just like, hey, what up, Marlena? She's going to be like, hmm, suspicious. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How does Marlena know we betrayed them? Because Harvey told. Oh, shit. Oh, you're right. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I, like, I literally lost, betrayed like, you. Fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. When you're right. When you're right, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Carry on. Are, so are we doing, doing the minor bit? Is that what's happening? You don't have the supplies for Mammy whatever? Uh, whatever I her know, name I was? I know. I can't be Grandma Tiffany. Oh. Uh. Grandma Tiffany, she was. The I don't best. have like fucking grandma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I can, like, I'm sorry. If I can, like, DLC. I, I just need. Like, I have a cloak. my lizard cape. <gasps> Dandy, it, like gags, but it's like, can I try it on? <laughs> yeah, here. Jesus. I just need to like make a shawl so I can like pretend to be a grandma. Yeah. I can't fail. I literally, unless I roll a hundred, I can't fail a disguise check. I have a ninety-nine in disguise. I don't know why I did that to myself. I don't know why. You could have You've put only those used skill points in once. so many different I, things. I know, but apparently I thought that... I mean... Oh, I thought I was going to do so much more PI work, and I was like, if I can disguise myself, I can do anything. <laughs> and now you can I mean, become a grandma. <laughs> Mamma Tiffany. I've only used disguise like three times, and two of them were for goofs. All right, go ahead. Roll disguise. Let's do get it. Let's get old Grandma Tiffany out of here. 32. I wonder if that passes. Yep, it does. It's a hard success. You look real old like a grandma. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, my oh God. Grandma Why? Tiffany. I've come to help you restore the demon. Captain Punch, this is Grandma Tiffany. Hello, young man. Captain Punch looks real close to you and says, I'm not fooled. <laughs> yes, you are. I rolled a 32. <laughs> Captain Punch is immune to your disguise. He literally saw you put it on. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Wait. I want to roll to dis to fucking like I don't know disguise again. <laughs> I I just spin around and be I'm like, just, I'm the new just, grandma. I just don't want Captain Punch to out me. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Fine. I won't. I won't continue trying to like preserve my identity. 
Well, you can, hey, just not to Captain Punch. I'm just worried we're going to get in there, and then I'm going to fool her, and Captain Punch is going to be like, that's not a grandma. Captain Punch. <laughs> Captain Punch, you got to go along with this one. Okay, Dad, but I don't like it. I know, buddy. I know, but it's we're doing it to fight communism. <gasps> Captain Punch nods sternly. <laughs> What? Why the fuck also, uh, can I can I get a hail papillon from a grandma tip real quick? Hail papillon. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Give me the demon. <laughs> okay, with this wonderful, wonderful scene out of the way, we proceed over to the uh, the other end of the ravine. Uh, it looks like another sort of uh, uh, cave in ish thing happened over here. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of rubble. Um, but some of it has been cleared away to uh, create a, a, again, kind of like a, a loose passage through. Um, it's your own, only way forward, but you're going to need to make some kind of roll to, uh, to proceed. Okay, what kind of roll? I would say uh, yeah. you could roll strength uh, to try and clear a path, or you can all roll dex. I'll roll uh, dex. To try and get through. I'll roll dex. I'll roll dex. I'm sorry, strength? Uh, yes, strength. Well, I did. I got an extreme success, so got a hard I success. Got, I so did I. I got an ex- a success for a dex. And Meg, what did you get? I got a real extreme ex- success on strength. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, buff, I feel like I feel like the best way fuck. to resolve this then is uh, everyone takes a look at like this small opening and like nimbly dashes through and meg you kind of look sad as you just easily move um several of the large pieces of rubble out of the I way i just like bulldoze through it <laughs> I just... <laughs> and uh and and proceed onward um so now uh from the other side of the the rubble there is a there's a small path forward um into an opening and uh from the other side, it's a little difficult to tell where you're in is very dark, but the opening is putting out a lot of light. Hmm. Can we hmm. stealth over to try and peek around the corner? I think that would only be fair. Meg puts out his hair. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll oh, out, the, yeah, I'll that's probably, yeah, that's I'll probably a good hand. idea. I, is it dirty? Like, is there dirt? No. Oh. Shit, I was gonna just like punch my hand into the dirt and put it out, but never mind. No, it's like rock. All Wait, right. were we all yeah, rolling success? stealth? Whoever wants to do it and whoever rolled uh, is gonna go with their rolls. Uh, I, I did get a success. I got a hard success. Okay. Anyone else? Nah. <laughs> nah, as in you didn't do good, or nah, as in you didn't roll? Nah, as in I wasn't rolling for stealth. What yeah, were same. You, what were you roll? I heard dice. I thought I heard <laughs> dice. I was confused. I thought you told us all to roll stealth, where I did not want oh, to. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. I guess I'll let that one slide then. Um, as Dandy and Ernest, you uh, slide on up to the uh, the mouth of this new opening, and as you peer inside, I'm going to need you two to roll sanity. Okay. I feel like Before, I can like... I do a stealthy backflip? Mark. <laughs> Yeah, roll dex. Yeah, thanks. Let's stealthy backflip. <laughs> I did get a success. I love Great. the immediate just mark. <laughs> <laughs> you backflip over. This is not the time for backflip. Okay. Oh, it's always the time for backflips. Uh, that's fair. I'll let you have that. I'm fine. I got a success as well. Okay. Shit. Um, all right. So you guys I'm are only going to take one point episode. of sanity loss each. Um, Why? I'm good. No, in Call of Cthulhu, <laughs> if something is like really bad, you still lose sanity. I don't like that rule. I'm I'm sorry, that's the rule. <laughs> Maybe if I explain what's going on, you might understand why a little better. No, I've seen too much shit. Oh. I don't care anymore. I'm a veteran. This, I don't give a shit. This is a little different. No, I saw uh, Lacrimosa once. You saw her in, in not like in person though. You saw her like in a dream. This is this is face to face IRL. Uh, with a real, actual uh, Prince of Hell. I'm best friends oh. with the Prince of Hell. Um, <laughs> and Megan Harvey, you don't see this. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle works at Hell. Um, <laughs> you see a monstrous uh, insectoid. They they have like a segmented body, like a caterpillar. Uh, but their head is more moth-like with, with two large drooling pincers. Um, 
And or drooly. Scale of one to ten. I'm gonna give him a six on the droolometer. Gross. Mm-hmm. Um, right, nice. And they struggle. Um, the third segment of their body seems to be cut off rather violently by a uh, some sort of swirling uh, purple, like uh, almost like a hole, like a portally ish hole um, that wraps mm-hmm. tightly around its midsection um, and extends much like a net uh, to encompass it. Um, so, so it thrashes uh, against this this seemingly like magical net um above it this is this is i'm sorry i was too busy describing the demon to tell you what the room is like it's a it's a large uh uh and tall cave that stretches upward at the very top of it um probably like uh, we'll say like 30 feet up uh you see it you see the core um it pulses above uh papillon's head um Uh, also in the room are Merlina and uh, two moths. They all look very nervous. Uh, and Papillon says, Guys, how long is this going to take? No! <laughs> what is keeping them? I have been stuck in here for too long. Time, you probably wouldn't even understand this. Time is nothing to me, and my god, I am bored. I am so bored in here. I thought you had found Arthur at last. I thought I could be free of these wretched bonds. Uh, And Merlina says, I know, I I don't know what's taking them. Asa loves his dramatic speeches. I'm I'm sure, I'm sure they'll get there soon. Uh, And Papillon, while not pleased with this reaction and this answer, does not seem like he is in a position to do much of anything and continues to thrash. And that is the... that is the scene that Dandy and Ernest see. Okay, I shuffle back over to the others, and very quietly, I re- relay the information. Okay, now you're all up to date on the scene that you all heard. Sounds like a big baby. Why does this... Yeah, what a puss. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what do we do? <laughs> Should we just go in there and, like, beat the others up and then... Let's slice them up like a samurai. Oh my god. No, well, I feel like we should mm-hmm. avoid the de- the big demon man and just like yeah. f- like chuck the blanket into it like like roll it into a ball like basketball style like uh, dunk it. Meg. And then get oh, the 30 f- feet oh. up. <laughs> no, listen, listen. Get out of there. Yeah, I, don't... I have an idea. What? If you tied uh-huh. the blanket around the cane and threw it like a javelin into the core. Ooh, I got What would I roll to do that, Max? Throw. Would it be strength? It would be throw. Or... Mm. But hmm. here's the thing: we've gotta we've gotta have the blanket caught on something so it keeps it keeps rolling and it keeps spitting out more blanket. We can't just throw it in. Oh, I mean, did you guys see any like like ladders or stairs or climbable esque rocks while you were in there? Uh, I'm gonna say it looked like it was mostly a smooth surface. I am. I gotta say, like, you guys do what you, you want to do to proceed. I love the throwing idea. I just think there's going to be consequences if it doesn't go well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, hmm. I'm thinking, how smooth of a surface, Max? Climbable if you were good. Good at climbing or just good? <laughs> Specifically at climbing. Hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, I mean, I could try. Try to what? Throw it? Try to climb? No, to fucking climb, my dude. It's worth a try. Uh, are you? Worst case scenario, I just fucking don't. <laughs> I mean, are you looking to, like, be stealthy about it? Moderately. If, okay, well, I there would be a plan. Um, Let's hear I'm it. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> For crying out loud. Um, <laughs> I was thinking if if you guys were willing and if you guys thought this was a good idea, maybe a distraction and then make a climb. 
We'd all still be in and the go same up. Like, area, right? So, like, if something goes wrong, we could all just oh, jump Oh, yeah, and they'd anyway. see you, and they'd see me run up to the side, like, oh, what's this bozo doing? Are you still dressed as Grandma Tiffany? I am. Grandma Tiffany is a I mean, there distraction. Wasn't... Is Grandma Tiffany going to be a distraction I'm, while... I'm sure I can. ...while Meg attempts this? Just, <laughs> oh, I've lost my way and wandered into this mountain. Okay. <laughs> Full of, you know, fucking Satan. <laughs> all right. All right, I'm gonna go in there and pretend that I'm a recruit, and that uh, uh, Grandma Tiffany's a recruit, <laughs> and that I'm trying to figure out like if the demon is like, you know, worth my worship. <laughs> okay. Just, just gonna sit there and judge him. This sounds like it's going to go really well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lead. Yeah, sounds great. I'm gonna lead the way this plan goes, and we are going to start. With Grandma Tiff's initial distraction. Let's go. All right. I okay. hunch over. I clear my throat so they know I'm not just, like, walking in. Or they know I'm walking in, and I'm like, <coughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Is this the right room? Uh, Hello? Papillon looks down at you and says, Okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Tiffany. Uh, I, I'm a new recruit uh, to this uh, cult. Uh, I'm, I'm here... We, so- uh, well, first of all, we prefer the term worshipping committee that cult sort of became a, like a bad name. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. You, I, you know, I'm I'm a bit older, if you couldn't tell. Yes, I'm... I can very clearly oh, see that. Oh, thank you. I'm very This old. is turning into more of a pirate. I, <laughs> I think I won't be able to get out of it now. Happy <laughs> Otis is just sounded... a pirate. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it, yes. it, it almost sounded kind of flirty and I got really concerned. <laughs> <laughs> well, time means nothing to I you. Like, I heard that in the right hallway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no, <laughs> Tiffany. Papillon is oh, good no, and distracted Tiffany. by this right now. Uh, Meg, why don't you go ahead and roll stealth, and you can take a, an advantage dice because everyone is hell yeah confused and enthralled Beth. by this performance. Beth. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Please roll to seduce the demon. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Ooh, that's a hard success. All right, yeah, let's hear what seducing this this big bad monster sounds like. Okay. What color is he? Blue? blue? All right, he's blue, and he's got big old drool fangs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I... How, can I, like, touch him? Uh, it looks like that's probably not a great idea. He looks a little spiky. Okay. Uh, Grandma Tiffany takes a few steps closer, and she just goes, My, you are just the loveliest shade of Blue, sir. I have never seen someone quite so endowed in the teeth department. Uh, roll Chara, yes. Good. I don't like that wording. <laughs> you all wanted this. <laughs> oh my god! I got a four! <laughs> Seduced him even harder. <laughs> well, I did. you aren't too bad yourself. Uh... Merlina is going to attempt to break through the enthrallment. They do not. They are still dumbstruck by this whole situation. Uh, Meg, let's have you roll climb. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Where's my fucking climb, dude? Isn't it a 20? Oh. Yeah, but I just, I can't read, Beth, so just bear with me. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> um, ooh, if it's, like, a little bit under, is that a success? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you climb. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. You begin, you begin scaling the, uh, the cliffside. Um, Woo! fuck, are you just gonna keep up the seduction? You know, someone literally on Twitter the other day was like, <laughs> I forgot you have fighting in this podcast. <laughs> I was like, me too. <laughs> um, here yeah. I was. I set up this whole thing, and now Grandma Tiff is gone. <laughs> Listen. Grandma Tiff just busts out the moves. We Listen. ain't got to fight nobody. Grandma My Tiff is going to save the day. My sultry voice can tame any demon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you you are continuing your smooth talk. Merlina is is trying to figure out like something seems up with her. She says. All right, hang on a second. Who? What? What is going on here? 
I'm sorry, young lady. It's a little rude to disrupt two adults who are talking. <laughs> oh, shit, get her. <laughs> Merlina's eye visibly twitches. <laughs> um, I'll be right with you as soon as I'm done with this handsome young man. Uh, Meg, you uh, oh, you shit. find yourself now um, awkwardly perched, uh, kind of goat-like. Um, on a very, on a very thin, uh, ah. outcropping. Now, now you're probably like seven or eight feet, um, away from, from the core, uh, and you have the blanket. What do you do? Am I able to climb closer to it, or am I just four-legged perching on the uh, closest rock? <laughs> you, you are perching on the closest rock. Uh, I think, like, if you wanted to really get close... Which I will tell you, free of charge, based on what you've heard about the core, sounds like it might be pretty dangerous. Um, yeah, I think, I think not touching that kind of mumbo jumbo would be in my interest. Yeah, I'll mm-hmm. just toss. Toosie toos. Hmm. Okay. Um. How sturdy would you say the uh, the tiny little plank of wall I have is? You're not in danger of falling off. It seems steady. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and try. And huh. I'm going to tie the blanket to my cane. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and just throw it right into that core. Okay. Dandy, you are observing uh, Meg prepare to do this. Are you going to do anything? Um... I'm trying to think how this is going to work, because Meg needs to get down unnoticed, and then we need to book it. So You have a small radio now. Right. You all have small radios now. Oh, so Meg does too. So Meg does... Is Meg aware that he's going to use 13.4 to get out? I, he probably overheard there was a station when we were telling... Um, yeah, yeah. It's it's relevant information The commissioner. To okay, well, I guess until it, like, actually... Until it, like, definitely, like, 100% goes in... Um, I don't. I don't want him to be seen. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what. What should I do? If I keep it up, like that's great and all, and I can definitely do that. But um, I just like if it starts going, how fast is it gonna go? Based on your, uh, well, I mean, the only time you guys really stuck around when a core was going uh, was in arc one, and it was about as fast as a moving car. So we should leave mm. now. Uh, probably. Great. Okay. Grandma Tiff is like, yeah. oh, oh God, oh my God, those burritos. <laughs> <laughs> Will you ex- excuse me for one moment? I need to go and gather myself in the ha- hallway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so you... never eat it, flapper beast. Oh no! <laughs> you run back out to uh, Harvey and Ernest. Meg, are you gonna throw? Yeah. Fuck it. Throw. All right, I'm pulling. Oh, we're pulling. We're pulling this out of our bag and getting ready. Like we're still watching. Like if we can, out of the corner of our eye. But I've got the dial thirteen point four, or at least oh, like thirteen point three. Just so hard, fucking. Oh no. Oh no. That's a hard oh, success. God. Oh god. No, you're shit. good. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got a. I got a fucking seven, and I'm very excited. Damn. Nice <laughs> job. Oh, shit. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we turn it to 13.4, and we're like, Solstice, get us out of here. Hey, bud, we need to leave. Yeah, okay. Uh, and Meg is going to get pulled out in a hot second, too. I'm going to check if I have Captain Punch with me. Yeah, you have Captain, Captain Punch. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, and you are all booped out. Meg, you throw your cane with a spear. The blanket trails out uh, behind it, and the cane disappears. And then the blanket, well, <laughs> the beginning of it does. And as it is pulled further in... It begins unraveling, uh, the the oh, very shit. force of it pushing it outwards and outwards, and these new bits get, keep getting sucked in, and the core begins expanding. Uh, oh god! Go, go, go. With this revelation, Papillon turns up towards it and says, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> and Meg, you have precious seconds to do something. Um, I'm gonna r- rappel down the blanket, just fucking run. Meg. Can I do that? Meg, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die? It's yeah. confirmed. It moves as fast as a speeding car. 
Oh, okay. Well, Meg's just gonna put up two birds at Papillons and be like, <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Why didn't you pull out the radio you had? Oh, because he said I was gonna die anyway. No! You had precious oh. seconds to pull a radio out! Oh, I... see, with your tone of voice, I thought uh-huh. I was just kinda, like, fucked. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, is Meg dead? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god! Meg, you panic the second your cane hits hits the uh, the blanket because you have a revelation. You don't remember the frequency. Yeah. With the few seconds you have left, you <laughs> rappel down your blanket. It is beautiful. It is incredible. You Thank land you. superhero style in front of Papillon, now turning to to face you, and you raise two beautiful middle fingers <laughs> as Papillon is engulfed in a white light. Merlina and the other two moths start to run, but they know it's too late, and you know it is too. You've done something incredible. You've done something wonderful. You have not only destroyed a great prince of hell single-handedly, but you are responsible for the future of the train yard. Your actions here have granted citizens, both human and moth alike, a chance to make it in a stable environment. Aww. This sounds really sentimental, but I still flipped off of these. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, I'm taking that as the important part, just saying. Your sacrifice and pure badassery in your final moments will be remembered throughout the course of history. Or at least, well, not really the flipping off. No one's going to be around to remember that, but... No, but, but he'll know, and that's, that's, <laughs> that's what's important. Hi, everyone. Max here for your regularly scheduled ad break. Oh, boy. How about that, huh? <laughs> Thanks for listening to our finale of The Last Train Out. Um that was yeah, it's been it's been really cool. We got a we got a nice little epilogue coming up for your enjoyment. Uh but damn, huh? Ooh. We were uh we were kind of shocked. That was a lot. But it was really good. It was a lot of fun. Uh if you want to thank our guest star who really helped uh bring this magical moment together. Uh, that's that's good old Pix. You can follow her on Twitter at Pixius Maximus. Thanks for being a part of this, Pix. Maybe we'll see you again sometime. Who knows, though, because... Oh, boy. <laughs> um, if you've liked what you have been listening to, maybe you would consider telling a friend. That is a great way to help us spread the word of the show. Uh, word of mouth is just super incredible. And we would, like, just super appreciate that if you could do that for us. It'd be awesome, Uh, especially now that we're sort of transitioning into other stuff. Which, by the way, I should probably talk about what's coming up next. Um, So, ARC-5 is going to be launching to... Hang on, let me check my calendar here. October 15th. October... No. Yes. Yes, okay. October 15th is going to be the... Is that right? Yeah, okay. October 15th, sorry. (laughs) October 15th is going to be the start of ARC 5, which means there's two weeks uh, for shenanigans. What shenanigans, you may ask? Well, uh, on the first, you're going to get to enjoy our usual in-between. That's just going to help bridge the gap. We got some cool story shenanigans we got to go through as well as actually set up arc five and then the eighth the eighth is going to be really cool we're going to do something very special as a uh as a kind of a one-off episode it's not going to be like you're not going to miss much plot um but we have a very cool concept um for it uh that i i'll talk about next week i think um so you can look forward to it i promise it's going to be really cool i'm so excited uh 
if you would like to follow us on social media, you can do that on Twitter. We're on Twitter at capital T I N underscore cast. That is where we post new episodes, updates. We retweet lovely things said about us. Um, and it's just a really good time. And it's a good place just to, to keep up to date with where we are. Uh, if you want to support us through Twitter, the best way to do that is with the hashtag TinCast. Uh, hashtag TinCast is flourished with art and wonderful, wonderful things from uh, uh, listeners. Um, and if you contribute to it, we'll put you in the show. No questions asked as a major or minor character. And you can be like some of our beloved listeners, Asa, Howie, Catherine, Lissa, Yorgos, uh, just a whole bunch of really good people who have uh, helped us out. So thank you guys. Uh, for that and if you do that um it'd just be really really nice and now's a great time since we're transitioning i have like, there's one specific character that i need a name for and they're gonna play a huge role in arc five and there's no reason it can't be you uh if you tweet about us right now so please now is a great time seriously um <laughs> We are on Patreon at patreon.com slash tincast. Patreon is how we keep the show going. Uh, it helps us recoup the costs from our like service fees, um, the all the ins and outs, uh, and we, we pay you back in content. Uh, we have a basic tier where you'll get weekly episode previews. We have a free tier just if you want to swing by. Uh, that will get you... Well, it's not really a tier, but if you swing by every week... Uh, usually around Saturday, we have a clip of next week's episode. Just, just cause, just cause we're cool like that. Um, our mid tier, uh, five dollars or more a month, that gets you two, uh, two pieces of bonus content a month, a Q and A, which is really more of just us talking for uh, a little while, and then a uh, a one off episode, um, or just like you know, a, an an additional episode that's that's not related to the main story that we do here. Um, this month we are just finishing up, uh, Begin Again, a wonderful, wonderful three-part arc about people, well, not people, Dandy, Ernest, and Harvey going back in time, uh, to the first arc, uh, and just, like, reliving it and seeing, like, if they could improve themselves, and my god, uh, it's really cool. You can actually get free clips of, uh, all of the stuff I've been talking about on Patreon as well, uh, just if you want to listen and and get a sneak peek and then how could i forget we have our big boy tier the critical success tier that is where we will thank you each and every week if you're a subscriber to it and that is why it is time to thank alexander getty joseph stowell and brett abraham for their continued support of the show thank you guys so much i love you oh, seriously you're incredible <laughs> thank you for helping us keep the show going if you listen to this on a service that lets you rate uh, leave a review, subscribe. It would mean the world to us if you would do all that. Or, like, even if you just do one of those things. Um, leaving a review or rating us just uh, helps us become bigger and, uh, you know, sort of naturally helps us expand into new people's horizons. And uh, if you subscribe, that's mostly for your sake. That's how you can, like, really just stay up to date with everything that we do. Um, and you can just, like, pop on every Monday and you'll be like, shit, here's a new episode. It's right here for me. <laughs> It'll be really cool. And last but certainly not least, our email is tincast13 at gmail.com. If you have comments, questions, concerns, or any other good shenanigans that you want to talk to us about. Um... And I think that's about it. I'll let you get into the epilogue now. Uh, thanks for sticking with us for this arc. It's It's been a blast. Um, and I look forward to showing you guys what's coming up next. Uh, so again, our in-between goes live on October 1st. I hope you guys won't miss it. And we'll talk to you then. Bye. And now we cut <laughs> to Harvey, <laughs> Ernest, and Dandy. Uh... <laughs> squeezed into a tight small suburban house uh with probably like almost a hundred other people uh oh the commissioner is is doing his best not to uh take up much room but it's it's not going well um hey guys uh sorry we got one more person coming you did it yeah we did it we blew up the core right solstice Wait. meg uh what what do you mean by one more? Meg should have 
contacted you with his radio to pull him out, right? There, Dandy, there's nothing left. What? What? It's you. You guys did it. the The core has essentially destroyed the whole place. Yeah, but what about Meg? Dandy. <laughs> no. God. Fuck. I, Dandy throws the radio. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and then she starts crying. And I wish I could cry oh. and come in, but I can't. Okay. Um, Harvey's gonna go over and, like, pat her shoulder. Thanks. Um, You're welcome. Shit. Fuck, this is a little harsh. We gotta... <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that was that was unexpected. That was unexpected. Um, was, that a, was that a big no? No! 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 no. Okay. no. <laughs> that was really cool! Oh, that was awesome! Was really, that was really, like super really cool, cool yeah. ending. Just really sad. Yeah. Um, I mean, I knew Meg would have to leave eventually, so if that's the out, that's the out. <laughs> oh. We're gonna have to take. We're gonna have to take care of a gory for him. Oh, oh gosh. shit! Oh. I was just thinking oh, yeah, about a no. gory. Um, shit! I probably should have planned for that. <laughs> a gory's oh, a strong, independent horse. If a gory can swim across the fucking Atlantic, <laughs> I think a gory is going to be a okay on their a own. A gory's fucking fine. <laughs> um. All right. Well, um, shit. I guess we need some sort of an epilogue, huh? Yeah. Um. Yeah. As uh, as Dandy, you uh, you wipe some tears from from your eyes. Uh, Ernest and Harvey, how are you guys doing in this moment? Besides I'm fine. squished. Well, oh yeah, Ernest. Ernest has a. Uh, Ernest is definitely squished a bit. Um, oh, but he he's really he's really upset. <laughs> All right, yeah, Ernest. Ernest, you he's, cry. He's squished in the heart. Yeah, but... no, his heart is squished okay, by I Meg's give, uh, give Ernest disappearance. Yeah. Okay, Harvey, you're, Harvey, you're okay. Well, maybe a little like sad looking, but not not crying or anything. Just like oh, that's uh, too bad. You hear you hear a gruff <laughs> voice uh, call out. <laughs> All right, everyone. This is a little unusual. This is the FBI. Uh, I guess since we're back on Earth now, we should probably take control of the situation. And then you hear, I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, uh, and you hear a female voice respond, Yeah, this is a little... I didn't think we were going to come back. Hey, wait. What was my name, Kate? I don't remember. <laughs> let's just say... I have say, no idea what their name is. Let's were. just say... Let's say Kate. Uh, my name was Kate or something. Hey, is that Kate? Kate, the FBI agent? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my god! I, el- I elbow like one of them, and I'm like, "That was who we were in the dream." <laughs> what? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we weren't talking to you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're alive. Do you guys know what happened? How did we get back here? Uh, magic. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, listen, Kate, the FBI agent, and your two friends, Edward? <laughs> Donald and, uh, uh... Bert was one of them. Bert? Bert, Bert are you there? D- David was one of them. David uh, and Bert, yeah. 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 You guys are both there? Yeah. <gasps> Not dead? Wow, where's he guys been? <laughs> uh, we... Dandy, are you okay? <laughs> no! <laughs> we, uh, integrated, I guess. All right, well... What the hell do we tell people? We don't tell anyone anything. This is a big old secret. Commissioner, do you have, or can you build, wait, or do we have? We have one of those skin printers, right? Oh, I brought a few. I yeah, sort perfect. of thought that might be the way things were going. Print some skin. Um, we've got, you know, if it's okay with Harvey, um, hmm. we've got a really large hotel. In oh, York, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, where we could, like, you know, Shit. take in these people. Uh, Ernest, you see Damn. Gertie step forward, and she says, you would really take in all of us? Heck yeah, we would. <laughs> <laughs> I. How can we say no to that? By saying yes. <laughs> uh, Gertie nods enthusiastically. <laughs> uh, the, the commissioner, uh, like huddled and like squished comes over to you dandy and uh says i don't think i'll be coming to new york with you oh my god no come on you were my favorite dandy (laughs) you were my favorite oh please i've lost so many people today i i'm not going anywhere i just i don't think 
there's a feasible way for me to follow you on the train. I don't... Are you not going to fit in the human skin? He uh, looks down at his enormous mechanical body and says, No, that's <laughs> that's not what I, I thought, think is going to happen. Wait, I thought it was what like magic skin. No, what if you dress up the bottom half like a horse? <laughs> I, you could be a centaur. I they could no, always... like make it look like one of those Halloween costumes where it's like a tiny dude sitting on a horse. <laughs> they could put a hoop skirt over it. <laughs> yeah. What if we put you in a dress. wheelchair? A big wheelchair. <laughs> oh, that's true. The the commissioner big turns <laughs> uh, and and looks uh, wistfully out a window. Uh, outside of the house, you see some like thick forest. Uh, Are you gonna go live free in the forest? <laughs> Be free, uh, the commissioner. Hey. You guys have a, a a word right for for local legends and monsters. Cryptids. C- cryptids. That you could become a cryptid. Yeah, maybe I could. I don't know. Help people, just like I did here. Well, I guess I sort of also built weapons that could pro- potentially hurt people, but mechanical spider moth. <laughs> maybe I could, like, I don't know, help wary travelers, people lost. I I gotta say, it sounds a lot better than being forced into a wheelchair and and losing the ability to move on my own again. Okay, I understand. Or dressed up like a horse. <laughs> Meg, Meg's ghost calls out through the radio. <laughs> Oh. Meg's dead fucking ghost just horse. Oh god, you know what I just horse. remembered? Huh. Um, because he got eaten by the radio, his soul got eaten. Or he got eaten in the radio, his soul didn't like he didn't die first, so he like his soul isn't free. He's just gone. That was the whole reason we had to pull Jimmy James out. Like we had to kill them first. Oof. Uh, before this is the, okay you know we could have just oh. pretended that didn't happen but now we've said it now it's being addressed <laughs> Meg, oh that meg's soul is just fucking gone he doesn't exist anymore yeah no because mm-hmm. there yeah. obviously is an afterlife and um we like the last arc we had to like kill all the werewolves before uh we could leave or else their souls would be like erased well that's uh-huh. sad can we end this on a more positive <laughs> yeah. note yeah sorry yeah <laughs> Uh, we still we still have a bit of time. I don't know if you want to like call anyone and let them know you're safe. I mean, I'll call Louisa. I'm gonna call Gertie. Hey, Gertie, I'm okay. <laughs> can someone, wait, can someone call Cukes and tell him I love him? Oh yeah, oh. Is, is Cukes here? Oh no! And then I'm fucking dead. Uh, yeah, Jackson is is present. Okay, I want to. All go. right, so fuck. We'll believe in the power Thanks. of love for a quick second here. Uh, and Thanks. I. Unless, unless just someone wants to relay the message, I think I, that would actually probably make more sense. Yeah, yeah. So, D- Dandy, do you want to do you want to go over? Yeah, I, I'll talk to Louise in the car or something. Okay, I go over to Commander Cukes. <laughs> Commander Cukes. <laughs> Commander uh, Cukes. He's been promoted. He he just looks kind of like Cukes. lost in all of this. Hey, bud. Hey. How are you doing? I don't know. I really didn't do a whole lot when I was here is did Meg get back? No. Well, Meg didn't. Got eaten like spaghetti. <laughs> Ernest, <laughs> shut up. Uh, Jackson Jackson actually like smiles and, and wipes a tear from his eye and he says <laughs> That's probably how he would have wanted to go. Oh no. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Can we just Come say on. wait can we just say, with the power of Meg's magical book that he had in his pocket, he just like his soul transported elsewhere. He was too magically powerful. <laughs> to not be, just Can be I already. be a magic fucking book? <laughs> Can you please be a ghost somewhere in another dimension? I mean, necromancy exists. I'm mm-hmm. sure. Guys, so. I wish you could but see Max. I really face came to right it. Now. Yeah, Max looks like he wants to have a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to have a stroke. <laughs> he's, he's, he's coveting a stroke. <laughs> he's summoning a stroke. Okay, listen. If I had thought of it earlier, <laughs> Meg, you literally even marked a soul-catching spell on in your book, but you didn't yeah, do anything with it. But yeah, um, probably because I fucking forgot. <laughs> Panic when you're panicked, you know. Yeah, you forget yeah, you have soul yeah. soul catching books in your pocket. <laughs> Meg, your bird your bird flipping was so good. 
I can't redact that at all. Whatever, yeah. uh, whatever good spirits are, are looking down from you guys from that good, good place in the sky, they were like mad props. <laughs> they were like, damn, that guy just killed something incredibly evil single handedly. And in the oh in the flash seconds, I don't know. They grant they bring you they bring you to the good place in the sky. Oh, <laughs> they do that for you. Okay, no so man. if someone wanted, they could bring me back. Bum okay, bum right on bum. That. Back to Jack <laughs> and but can you please bring me back as a fucking book? <laughs> <laughs> Just really stuck on this idea of a fucking sentient book. I thought you were gonna ask oh. to be brought back as a horse. Me uh. too. <laughs> Which, anyway, can um, it be a book about horses, please? No! <laughs> oh God! Like one of those. Harvey like will learn necromancy and bring Meg back as a book about horses. The this Harvey, isn't I love ne- you. Thank this, you. The this isn't normal season one finale. Meg is brought mm. back as a horse book. He <laughs> <laughs> yes. can't do anything, but he can shout out sick jokes. Can I finish telling yeah. Jackson Cukes that uh, Meg loved him? Bring yeah. Meg. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. You you say that, and unless you want to be dramatic, no. Okay, you tell him, and he says, "He was a weird guy, wasn't he?" <laughs> he was. We're sorry we betrayed you. He really liked you. He really, really liked you. I really liked him too. What the hell do I do now? Um, I mean, you can come. Oh. Listen, we're all go. We're all taking everyone back to the um, to the hotel, but like. Ernest, Harvey, and I, we're not like, we don't stick around. We have to do more of this, so we're still gonna need someone to like keep charge and make sure people don't do things they're not supposed to. I. I could do that. Yeah, you could be sheriff of the hotel. Hotel <laughs> sheriff. sheriff of hotel. <laughs> Maybe I could actually like go into law, though. I don't. I feel like sheriffing a hotel is probably not. Commander of the Same. hotel. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is who owns the hotel? Oh, Harvey does. Is Harvey gonna pay me? I do. Harvey, you gonna pay him? <sighs> yes, I'll pay you. Hotel <laughs> Commander Q. <Cukes. laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. And uh, Dandy, do you want to call Louisa real quick? We yeah, have call we have Louisa. Like, just a quick minute. Um. So you uh, you uh, dial out to the hotel and you hear. Harvey's Haunted Hotel, Louisa speaking. Hi, Louisa. <laughs> oh, what? Dandy? Hi, Haunted Hotel? Is Are you marketing that now? We have... I'm sorry, she's marketing what? We'll get back to that. Anyway, hey, we're alive. <laughs> um, that is wonderful. How was it? Oh, man. Um, remember how last time Jimmy James died? Did Ernest die? No, not Ernest. <laughs> Uh, Did not Harvey. Harvey. Die? No. no, we made a friend. His name was Meg. He was crazy. He was so cool, and he died. Oh, I'm um, sorry to hear that, sweetie. I'm really tired of people dying every time we go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's that's a real bummer. Really over uh, it. Um, hey, listen though. Where where are you guys? We're in Seattle. Oh man, that's gonna take some time to get back, huh? I guess. Uh, you hear like a. Uh, you hear like a hand get placed over the uh, receiver, and you hear, "We got some more time." <laughs> uh, and what? What? So wait, how's the hotel? How's the hotel? Everything good at the hotel? You guys are not gonna believe what we've done. Listen, All right, no more surprises. Wait, I love no, you. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and she hangs just up. hangs up. I didn't get to tell her we have like a hundred moth people coming. <laughs> yeah, you do not. You did not hey, tell Andy. her that. Well, she's got a surprise Hello, coming for her too. Oh, Harvey. How's the hotel? Haunted, apparently. I yeah, haunted. I guess I don't know. Um, why? You know, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> wait, why? Because it sounded like shit was going down in my hotel. But like, why would it be haunted? Oh, I just, well, there was a demon there at one point. Oh, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> all right. And you all nod in agreement about how fair that is. And we see <laughs> we see the camera pan away from uh, from the house uh, onto a, uh, a crisp, clear sunset. And then we see the commissioner fucking break out of, like, the wall of the house. And, <laughs> like the Kool-Aid man. Yeah. And, and <laughs> he, Wait, takes, before... he takes one look back behind him I and then him stomps into the, okay, yeah. Yeah, you get you run up through the debris of the side of the house and give him a big hug. He hugs you back and says, "If you're ever in Seattle, try getting lost in a forest around here. I'll, I'll try and find you." 
I'll do my best. Let's do it. <laughs> he salutes you and I. Uh, my God, he's the Moth Man. <laughs> oh my God, it's the Moth Man. <laughs> no, he's the mechanical Moth Man. I don't know. I'm sure the locals will come he's up with a better si- name. He's for the him. Moth sent a cyborg. Great. <laughs> Hey, Cyborg Squatch. Hey, Picks. <laughs> hey, Picks. Uh, Thanks for being a part of this. Thank yeah. you. Aww. Thanks. This is, yeah. this is super fun. This has been Thanks. delightful. Um, Aww. Thanks for having me. I actually I'm got kind of teary when like, Dandy was telling Cukes about my character. I was like, I'm so heartbroken right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad upset. Meg went out with a bang. Yeah, Meg. Yeah, fucking, yeah. That was an awesome way to what go a, out. What a fucking way.